great crowd out there, too. All right, thank you very much. Absolutely. Allison, we go out to you now in the Fox lot. Oh, thank you so much, Tony, and you'll be happy that you did because it is the 4th of July, and what do we think about when we think about America's big birthday? Partying, celebrating, we do that with food. We love to do that, but we brought in some pros to help us this 4th of July. This is Diane and Greg Hill. This is the Hills family. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. They are the owners and operators of the Wiener's Circle. Get it, Wiener, but because give us the slogan. All wieners, no losers. I love it. All right, tell me the story. And this is Marl. Good morning. You're doing the cooking for us this morning. Um, tell us the story about how you began because this is a true red, white, and blue success story. Okay. Well, okay. First of all, we're uh, a husband and wife uh, business owners. We started the Wiener Circle back in 2008. It was primarily a carryout business right. in the front of what was our catering operation. We also own Great Falls Gourmet Caterers. It opened up as a hot dog stand with four walls. Yes. It was a very small place. If we had more than eight or nine customers at a time, the men were shoulder to shoulder. Okay. okay? It got hot in there. All we had was a condiment bar, a checkout counter, drink stations, and all of the hot dogs that we served up in the front. Right. It grew by word of mouth, strictly word of mouth. Um, Back in the end of this year, an opportunity became available for us to open up a place right around the corner in our current development, a sit-down restaurant. Our customers were ecstatic because they had been after us for over a year to have more place so that they could come in and sit down, get the full Wiener Circle experience right. in a sit-down <laughs> restaurant. And I mean, Greg, they, they, they demanded that you do this. Absolutely. And I can see Absolutely. why. Tell us about what you get when you come to the restaurant, well, which what, is in what Herndon. The, what sort of what we've done is we've taken a very common place thing, a hot dog or a sausage, and lifted it to a whole new level. Right. And the reason we've done that is we know everyone can cook a hot dog at home, but I don't think everyone's going to put out 18 or 20 different relishes and pickles, it's most amazing. of which we make, right. 8 to 12 different hot toppings and different chilies and different flavored cheese sauces and what have you. Okay. So we have a whole line of dogs called Dogs Without Borders, <laughs> and these Dogs Without Borders are specialty hot dogs with unusual toppings on them. Those are some of the things we're going to do today. All right. And what did you bring today? Let's get right okay, to we'll it. Okay, we'll start with the menu. Uh, the first one here on the left, which we're going to make one for you right now, okay. is called a Chili Mac Dog. And Marla is going to take a four ounce Ang Angus hot dog, and we're going to put four deep fried macaroni and cheese wedges Yum. on top of that. All right, just like that. Thank you, Marla. Then we move over here, and just to make it really interesting, and we're going to hit it right. We're going to hit it with some more chili here on top. And then the last item is hot melted cheddar cheese sauce on top of that. And uh, that's the first dog, a Chili Mac dog. Very patriotic. And if you'd like to try that one, go I'll, ahead. I'm going to try the mac and cheese. Uh, yeah, well, that's fine. Fritter, you, we if you we don't suggest mind. protective clothing on okay. some of these. Go ahead. What are you All making right, the up next? The next hot dog we're going to do is going to be called a, uh, uh, what are we going to know? The Barking Tall. And the Barking Tall is a hot smoked sausage. Once again, we get creative with this. We come over to this side, and we put Tabasco onions, which is a combination of sauteed onions, Tabasco, and red wine vinegar. We put that on it. Then we come over here, and we put Sriracha cheese sauce, mm, which spicy, is a spicy, spicy cheese sauce. Yeah. And to get things interesting with a little crunch level, old French's potato sticks. And now there's the next one. Which one would you consider the most patriotic today, guys? Uh, or are they Yours. We Mine. have a special okay. dog yes. at the end of the day. <laughs> okay. All right. Next dog is going to be called the Ugly Alligator, and we take a six-inch uh, hot dog. It's a and we score it, and you'll see how it's scored. So it looks like alligator skin. Looks like oh, so. Yes. Look All right. That. And then we do this. We put a little melted cheese on it. Melted cheese is good on, on everything. Like this, and then we come over here. And we put fresh jalapenos, and this kind of what makes it ugly, you know, just like this. I think it looks uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, if you like, uh, the heat level on some of these are quite <laughs> considerable. So okay. there's the next one. Well, while you're preparing the one to show off, the last one will show off. Can you talk to me more about these relishes? Because they sure. look so interesting. Sure, and we make so a lot of the pickles okay. that you see Sliders. here right now. We have your classic dill pickle, but we make a North yeah. Carolina yeah. pickle. These are fresh jalapenos. We make these pickled pineapples. Um, these are salsas that we make that are going to go on the sliders that we're doing later. Box five. But Give me a, the Tabasco me onions, Sabretto. traditional uh, Sabretto. dill pickles, sliced, chopped red onion, relish. These we make 
great. These are pickled green tomatoes. Um, this is a Giardini sauce that we make ourselves as well. Got to there, Diane. Let me tell the people where to find you. You are in Her uh, Herndon, and Gonzales mm -hmm. is the Wiener's Circle mm -hmm. on Victory Drive in Herndon. Open Monday through Friday and Saturdays and now, Saturdays right? Saturdays for All lunch. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. The last item is a Fox 5 Hound Dog. The which Hound will, Dog. Which will be on our menu starting tomorrow. <laughs> two cheeses, two relishes, five toppings all together, Coney Island sauce, and we top that with some pickled pineapple. All right, Tony, that one's for you. This is Diane and Greg Hill. Thanks so much, guys. Back to you in the Enjoy studio. It. I'll just take a simple Thank dog with chili. Thank you very much. We're going to be back with a look at your five-day forecast and the answer to the trivia question next.